Let's bring up Mike now. Mike DeFoy goes way back. How back? How far back you go with Mike DeFoy? DJ Nas. We go back to the 90s. We can go like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my best friends in the world here, supporting Mosaic from day one. Let's give it up for Mike DeFoy. Yeah. My homeboys hanging out in the back with my man Nikki Black. It's all about Vance. I always come over to my man Ordell Cordova. As a matter of fact, this poem is dedicated to you, bro. This is a word. Remember these conversations we've been having the last couple of weeks? We're going to talk about it right now. All right, let's get with it. Poetry started with the oral tradition. Poetry started with the oral tradition. Before books, people listened. The word was spoken first. History sung in verse. Bards, griots, gnostics, troubadours. In the beginning, there was the word. Right. Ancient Sanskrit scribes memorized Vedic texts through chants and mantras, recitations like the Upanishads, assonance and alliteration, soliloquies and monologues. Early Greek poets called rhapsodes told epic tales, including the Iliad. Griots wandered across Western Africa sharing legends and praise poems. 12th century troubadours traveled town to town telling tales. Sestina's villanelles tell the tale. The villanelle is a vehicle. Respect to the Italian Renaissance, the source of the sonnet and ballad, nomadic rhymers are timeless. Elizabethan and Shakespeare, back to nature like the romantic poets. Get your words worth, cooler than Coleridge, lyrical ballads, bright stars like John Keats, mythical like Lord Byron and Shelley, William Blake and the auguries of innocence, metaphysical poets, American transcendentalists, Thoreau and Ralph Waldo Emerson, while we sing in the body electric with Walt Whitman. Fireside poets are gathering families around the fire, listening to poetry, the theater of the word, nomadic rhymers are timeless. Yates, a heavyweight in the rhymers club. Edgar Lee Masters in the Chicago Renaissance, Sandburg, City of Big Shoulders. I'm chilling with William Carlos Williams, or in the wasteland with T.S. Eliot, or crossing the bridge with Hart Crane. Surrealist, Futurist, Dada, W.E. Du Bois in the Smoke King, Langston Hughes in the Harlem Renaissance, Black Mountain Poets, Projective Verse. B generation poet mystics. Poetry is an occupation like Neruda, Duende with Federico Garcia Lorca, Kenneth Rex Roth in the San Francisco Renaissance, Nomadic Rhymers are Timeless, The New York School, Cool, Ted Berrigan. Frank O'Hara was writing poems on his lunch break, catching a handshake with Leroy Jones before he became a Mary Baraka. Don L. Lee became yeah. Hockey Mata Booty. You can't forget Nikki Giovanni, the black arts movement, cultural movements, academic movements, geographic movements, ideological movements. The word keeps moving. Confessionalists, abstract expressionists, new formalists, lexical integrationists, language poets, household poets, spoken word semiotics, narrative linguistics, imagists, objectivists, Copper Canyon Press, check the text, nomadic rhymers are timeless, we are warriors of the word, pounding the pavement of time, living our lives through experience outside of the academy, take it to the concrete, go prairie troubadour like Vatcha Lindsay, factory windows are always broken, other windows are let alone, nomadic rhymers are timeless, Transcontinental tellers of the tale, 12th century troubadours, Greek rhapsodes, West African griots, Celtic bards, Egyptian Gnostics, chanting Buddhist sutras, spoken word poets, and hip hop MCs. Nomadic rhymers are timeless. Three. Three generations on the same stage, all the ancestors on the same page. Mm. Poetry started with the oral tradition. Before books, people listened. The word was spoken first, history sung in verse, bards, griots, Gnostics, troubadours. In the beginning, there was the word. That's right. Mosaic, I love you. Yeah. So remember, the poets were the first historians long before the printing press. Poets, whether it was griots, whether you called them troubadours, they, they were called all sorts of different things, but every ancient culture had poets. The hip-hop MC is not a new thing. The hip-hop MC is as old as man himself. And Ron started all of this. So just know that we have a lineage that's been going on for thousands of years. And my man Ordell and I have been talking about it for a minute. Love. You! Yeah. That was Mike Bowen, um, who we did not get to, we did not get to introduce properly. Mike is a, uh, a living LA legend, has featured in the LA Times, has featured everywhere, in every spot, every corner of the city. The premier poet historian of Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Sonskin, Mike the Poet. Give up one more time for Mike the Poet, please.